Hello YouTube, as promised in the last episode of Highlight Sundays, well, we're gonna have a little shopping vlog. Unfortunately, I eventually decided not to get what I wanted to get, but I did still buy some stuff that we could look at. So let's jump right in, we'll look at the stuff that I actually bought. I will talk a little bit about what I didn't buy and why I didn't buy it. So yeah, let us jump right in. This is 0612 TV. Welcome aboard. So alright, let us first take a look at this. Now due to some, well, lack of foresight in logistical matters, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to do my review handheld and in not very good situations. So I do apologize um, for the shaky footage, but here you go. This is the Choix or C-H-O-I-I-X Power Ford Triple A. Now on the box, it is actually called a quick and portable emergency charging solution. And what this is, is it's basically, well, a charger on a go. So you may recognize this guy here. This is actually the Hanel Unipal, which is a battery charger that I got some time ago for my camera. There is actually a USB jack over here. And that is what is actually charging the power fort right now. So the idea is this. The power fort here is actually powered by two AAA batteries. Now if I move the camera here, you can actually see a battery on the side. And of course, there is another one on the other side. So these will serve as the power bank for this little guy. And the output is actually back here, which is also a USB port. So the idea is, well, this can charge any device on the go. As long as, of course, uh, the AAA batteries that are actually powering this have power. So yeah, that is basically how I intend to get my phone charged on the road. So now I'm actually going to set my camera on a tripod and we will take a look at the box of this guy. Once again, my apologies for the shoddy camera work. Now we are tripod mounted, so hopefully things don't look as bad. So now let's take a look at the box of the power fort. Now when it comes to the box, there really isn't very much to speak of. Just some assorted plastics and a cable. Now they were kind enough to actually provide the correct cable that I was looking for <laughs> which, well, saved me an item to buy. If I can get the camera to focus a little bit closer here. So there you go, USB head on one end and micro USB on the other. Which of course works with my Samsung Galaxy Nexus and is exactly what I need. Also in the packaging, I don't think this is very obvious, but the actual charger unit was here, the batteries were put here and well, the cable was put here. And that's basically everything that's inside the box. The actual box itself doesn't have much on it. It just identifies itself. Quick and portable emergency charging solution. And has its brand. So there isn't very much at the back. It just says charge most mobile devices, which is true since it outputs USB. And you can power this actual unit or charge batteries inside it via any USB port. As far as I'm aware, those are normal AAA batteries, so if you have a normal charger, you can use that as well. That is what it says on a box. Um, nothing very much different from what I expected. Specially designed for rapid charging and recharging. That is actually true. Um, when I plug this in for charging, it actually finished charging in less than an hour. And that was out of the box for the first time. Now I'm not very sure if that was a feature or if something actually buggered up somewhere. Which is why I actually pulled it out and plug it back in to let it charge again. So hopefully I didn't do the wrong thing. Hopefully it's what is supposed to happen. Let's take a look at the other side of the box. There's some specs. Input DC 5 volt. Output DC 5 volt 500 milliamps. Charging current 300 milliamps. Charging voltage 1.5 volts. 1.5 volts. There are two batteries in there. Whatever. Uh, there you go, charging time 3 to 4 hours. So it shouldn't have cut itself off in less than an hour. A little bit strange? Well, we shall see how it works out. Cautions, use your charger only to charge rechargeable NIMH batteries provided in the package for safety. That is interesting because um, the actual batteries provided look nothing like what they show in the demo pictures. But logically speaking, I believe any AAA battery should work fine with this. So... Well, whatever. No, oh, here's one. Um, compatible with devices, PDA, GPS, 
gaming, mobile phone, smartphone, iPod, MP3, MP4, Bluetooth. Let's just say anything with a USB port actually works on this because that is how it works. Interestingly, this brand seems to belong to the Cooler Master brand name. Um, I don't actually remember where I heard this, but that sounds pretty familiar. But yeah, that's basically it for this guy here. Once again, it's the Power 4 AAA quick and portable emergency charging solution. In other words, a mobile, mobile phone charger. That makes a lot of sense. I have yet to actually try it. Well, it will be interesting to see how it actually performs. And if you thought that was bad, wow, what else have I got? Because, well, more batteries. Now obviously I've already opened this, but this is the Sanyo Analoop Lite. Um, well, basically it's just more batteries, also triple A's, as you can see from the size of this. More triple A batteries for use with that wireless mouse which I actually reviewed some time ago. So these batteries are charging right now, even though, actually I don't really understand this, but ready to use. Does that mean it's ready to use out of the box? I don't know, but I'm giving it a first charge anyway. So yeah, basically that's the only two things I bought. That's a pretty dismal review. Hmm. So welcome back. That wasn't very exciting. You see, what I wanted to do originally today was to actually go out and buy myself a little camera stabilizer. By then I refer to one of the glide cam units, which is of course supposed to produce extremely stable video uh, while walking or whatever else. Seriously, go look up videos on that. Um, you can see how some people actually operate the unit while running and still getting extremely smooth video. So yeah, a little bit about why I wanted to get a glide cam. Well, for one, I think it would be, you know, quite the learning experience for me. Not to mention, of course, the footage you get is really, really nice footage. But I eventually did not get it because, well, it is kind of pricey. I am very much of an amateur filmmaker, so I don't really feel like shelling out the cash for that just yet, at least. So yeah, my eventual conclusion was to, well, put it off. Um, I will hopefully still get my hands on a similar unit someday soon. But in the meantime, I will just have to resort to the bend knee walk. But you may be wondering, what is the bend knee walk? Well, I'm not gonna tell you today. However, this is a little teaser. Just yesterday from the filming of this episode, which is Sunday, I went out for a little photo and video session. That session alone has spawned two vlogs in which I can actually share. So, well, as you know, today's vlog isn't the most interesting vlog. So what I'm gonna do to make up for this is to actually release one of the vlogs I got from yesterday's photo session later on this week. Um, sometime this week, I still have no idea as to the exact date. But well, you will see it in your subscription boxes this week, so stay tuned. I have yet to actually try out that charger that I've gotten today. Also, I've forgotten its name, which is why I'm referring to it as the charger. But yeah, um, after I try it out, maybe I'll make another video, depending on how good or how bad it is. As for the Analoop batteries, well, I don't think there's very much to actually talk about. But if there's anything interesting that, you know, arises from this stuff, um, well, I will make another vlog. Apart from that, that is pretty much all I wanted to share with you today. So I will see you again later this week. As always, if you have any comments, queries or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Apart from that, I appreciate every like, favorite and subscription you give me. But until next time, you are watching 0612TV.